No, no, you can just, yeah, thank you. Okay, hi everyone. Uh, my name is Max Golubev, and today I would like to present you my little project I was working for. Oops, <laughs> okay. And um, a little intro. Since childhood, I was fascinated by aircrafts, and uh, uh, especially model aircrafts. And I wanted uh, to fly one, but it didn't really turn out to be my hobby. I started programming, and recently, as uh, the drone movement started to emerge, um, I've had a chance to to buy this this little guy. I can show it here. It's uh, it's a little foldable <laughs> Chinese drone. Uh, it's very cheap, but it has a camera. And it also has an altitude control built, built in. And uh, what's most exciting for me is that it's Wi-Fi drone. It actually starts an access Wi-Fi access point, and uh, if you connect uh, to it, you can control. Well, basically, basically it comes with uh, with an application for uh, for iOS and Android. Um, but I wondered how. How can how can it be that it's Wi-Fi and it can be controlled from like laptop or another computer? So uh, I digged a little bit. Um, I started. Uh, I have connected um, to the drone network with my computer and intercepted uh, a protocol with uh, with tools like probably probably know our shark. Uh, decrypted it, uh, some basic stuff to control, like throttle that goes up and down, yo to rotate, pitch and roll. And um, I wrote a little script for uh, to control the drone. I also initially started with keyboard, but um, it has some drawbacks, because um, you can simultaneously press more than three uh, keys on a keyboard, and also it's binary. You either press or you uh, you release the key. So uh, I found uh, I have looked at my old USB controller. It's it has two joysticks that, that that's axis, so they produce values from one to zero, uh, minus one to one, and uh, <laughs> put them uh, Raspberry Pi. I'll show you on the slide. Raspberry Pi, uh, power bank, that's a little bit too much, uh, but it's okay. And uh, Wi-Fi adapter, and connected it together to create a controller. Yeah, this sounds, uh, looks weird, but it works. So, at first, when I was uh, developing software on the computer, uh, I have created a simple script that I, uh, that allows to control uh, with with this joystick, and uh, I also uh, this is the first time I like concisely used uh, curses. It's actually very nice if you want to debug the values. Um, you have something like going on a screen, and you don't want printing it line by line, so. I have created the scripts, and then uh, I have uh, flashed it on Raspberry Pi. That's the same script, but it doesn't show uh, this this interface because it runs as a daemon in supervisor. Um, so it uses Pygame and Python curses. You can also, if you want, scan your code and see my project. Um, So I think it's it's a, it's, a, it's a time for a little demo. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Need to turn my Raspberry Pi. It will boot up for a moment. 
So wish me luck because it's it's not just software demo, it's hardware demo. <laughs> it will take some time to connect. Um, meanwhile, uh, I can say that I'm really excited that I was I'm able to create such a controller without any soldering. <laughs> it's just put uh, the Wi-Fi adapter, put uh, the joystick, and you're done. I also have, um, my, my power bank is for about 8,000 milliamps. That's, that's a little bit too much. You can, you can make it much smaller um, for about 10,000 milliamps. That would be t about two hours. And this is fun. Oh, well, I think this is connected. So. Uh oh. You have the you have the video signal? No, no. I forgot to to Oops, 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 uh oh. Wow. Yeah, but I can have a video signal. I would <laughs> if you don't mind I would start a video. It's unfortunately um it uses some um row h h264 um video stream so uh i wasn't able to properly decode it in like full featured video yet but i think i will work on it uh still i have this this little application on my phone as you can see there there are people it it sees the people so I can still, um, there are actually two servers running on this, um, this little guy. The one, uh, the one is a TCP server that produces TCP uh, video stream. And the second one is UDP server that accepts UDP packets. Uh, that's actually what my controller sends. It's just the comments to, uh, for the monitors like pitch, roll, yo, throttle, and all of this stuff. So it's recording. I will start again. Hey, smile. That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> that's that's emergency landing. I think it will be fine. Okay. So that's basically what I did um, about drone safety. I was wondering how it how's how is it easy to hug the drone because it's so cheap and so small, and it may be primitive. Uh, it turned out it's not it's not that bad. Um, uh, while while you see the LEDs are lit, it means. Um, it has a connection. It it receives UDP packets from my controller, and you c and no other controller can connect. Even okay, even uh, the application controller. So uh, you can only actually intercept when it's searching for a controller. But I you know, practical workaround is just to hold it in hand while it's searching for a controller. So. Next thing I'd like to talk, yeah, that I have some something nice things left like headless mode, uh, calibration for uh, for a position. I plan to do this some some time. Uh, there's also a project uh, I have found uh, by the guy who has si very similar drone, like the identical one. Uh, it helped me a lot, so I like to give credits to him. Also. Um, how how many of you uh, know have read actual Canada regulations for drones? Please raise hands. Okay. Well, if you don't, please you 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 surely need to do this because I think they are um, unfair. 
compare in comparison to United States and United Kingdom. Uh, they're not really well defined, and I would be glad if you will sign a petition that f to the Margarno, the the head of the Transport Minister du Transport du Canada, uh, to change the law. Also, I'm available for hiring. <laughs> I, 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 didn't do, uh, I also do web development. Uh, I also do a lot of QR codes, as you can see. Um, so if you want to join me on some crazy Python project, please drop me a line. <laughs> Thank you. Are resistant? That uh, that's okay for him. I actually dropped it from. I, I usually uh, fly it uh, in a park with the grass. Uh, I drop it from maybe ten meters, twenty. So it's it's very durable. I also I, I even um, changed uh, the gear once, but it's not. It's very minor change. You know, the gear that's from the motor to the propeller. So, pretty durable for that for that price. That's that's excellent. Other questions? Okay. Yeah, it is. No, well, it's not that possible. Uh, you have to send a magic word to the server, and then it will start to stream uh, the H246 stream for the 80. Oh, sorry, I forgot. Well, um, you can save it as a file. Uh, the catch is you can even play it with while C if you specify like explicitly codec. Uh, you can play the file, but to you have to connect it. You have to translate that file into edit add video container to it, so it would be a proper video file that you can play on on a, on, a, on your laptop on your phone. That's it. Okay. Thank you. Very much.